Leaving my comfort zone was important for me when I made the choice to grow as an actor. I got in my truck and I left my hometown of Asbury Park, New Jersey and went on a week-long cross-country road trip to the West Coast. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. I had arrived in Joshua Tree. I was acting in a film that was going to be the biggest challenge of my career. This is our story about a team of filmmakers and a two-day shoot in the desert. In the past, as an actor, I basically feel like any any type of part that that I had was kind of myself just, you know, delivering some lines and never really having to get into an actual character. I've known Joe for over 10 years. And he called me about a year ago and said he wanted to change directions in his career and wanted a gritty, suspenseful piece. It was something that I kind of wanted to create for myself, but also tell a really, a really good story. If anyone could pull off this type of writing and the type of character I actually wanted to portray, it was DJ. At his age, he was being typecast and he took responsibility and changing his fate. And that's where our journey began. Loved is a story about betrayal. Loved is about someone who has worked his entire life. He uh, worked to support his family, take care of his family, and he reaches a breaking point after he finds his wife in bed with another, uh, another man. Joe, upon reading Loved, became obsessed with Harold and how this was an exciting time in his life because he was going to be able to reinvent himself, but most importantly, learn about how to play a character that he had never been asked to play before. With a character like Harold, you do have to challenge yourself to go to places that you haven't gone before. And I've never gone anywhere this dark prior to Harold. To see Joe embrace the dark nature of humanity and want to run lines and he asked questions about the formation of Harold, underlined his perseverance, underlined his dedication, but it also underlines Joe's grit. It's exactly what I wanted to do. The way DJ had, had written it was, was perfect and it's the reason I went to DJ for, for this. I will fucking kill you! I will fucking kill you! I'm sorry my temper. I am working. Harold's vulgarity is meant as a stark reminder that when people are afraid and when people become emotional, they do irrational things. He's, he's drunk, he's driving through the desert, he has completely lost it. The audience is forced to sit in the passenger seat on a very scary ride, on a very dangerous ride with an erratic driver. We promised God that we would endure the test of time. He's made the Bible his own. He's taken pieces that underlined his own perverse tendencies and he's justified that through religion. I can't come home because you fucked it up. You fucked it up. Harold being an unreliable narrator is the backbone of the story. We're acknowledging that he's quote unquote bad, but we're believing a bad person's story. People thought I was out of my mind when, when we said we were gonna shoot in, in Joshua Tree. I flew out to LA, had some time, drove into Joshua Tree, and I met one of my buddies who was actually a producer on the film too, Brian Mount. He actually read the script and as he was reading it, I kind of saw his head shaking, and uh, I said, oh, "What's you know, what's 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 that for?" And he goes, "Yep, this sounds like Joshua Tree." And um, I said, "Really?" And I just kind of started thinking, and we hopped in his truck, drove around a little bit, looked at a couple locations, and I'd say within t <laughs> ten minutes, I uh, I called DJ up, and um, I said, "Hey, we're gonna switch it up a little bit." A couple seconds go by, and he goes, "So we're filming in Joshua Tree?" I said, "Yeah," and that was that. He pushed me as a director to work with the aesthetic of the beauty that exists in Joshua Tree and how it juxtaposes the desert. Joshua Tree is beautiful. 
It's a beautiful area and it's also a really lonely place. It worked perfectly to see Harold, the state that he was in, and him coming, becoming unraveled. I can't unsee how love came out, and that's thanks to Joe. Joe really believed in the script, but also wanted to bring a different level of sophistication through the location. You know, when you're putting together a project like this, we shot it in two days, there are many obstacles. And we were on the phone several times a day, and he said, no, nope, it's worth it. This is an investment, I believe in the piece. And he really was a leader in that sense. You're going to hit a lot of obstacles. You're gonna to have to solve a lot of problems. But if you build the right team, you get to tell the story you want to tell. As a filmmaker, as an actor, as a producer, you need the support um, on set. When you are working together to tell a story and every person on set realizes they have an integral role, <laughs> you really have achieved movie magic. If it wasn't for DJ, there would be no story. If it wasn't for Julie, there would be no production. If it wasn't for Christian driving cross country and helping me prep, if it wasn't for Brian, who got us all the locations, Rafif, who helped bring these characters together, makeup-wise. The actors and the actresses who actually physically brought these characters to life. Um, Troy, who actually created and brought this film to the screen. I am extremely thankful and grateful for every single thing that they have all done and put into this project and helped create a family, not just a production, but a family. I think we all believed in each other's capabilities and seeing the film and the final product, everybody took ownership, which is very important. Taking everything I've learned in the past and being able to focus on something like this, I believe helped me grow into a much better actor, a much better producer, a much better filmmaker. I hope you get to enjoy the film as much as we enjoyed making the film. My name is Joe Cernio, and this is Loved.